All right, this is an overview of the mud mower tractor that I've basically created over the past couple of years. It started life as a 98 Murray wide body LT. Uh, I forget the mower deck size, uh, it's not really important. But um, some of the basic modifications I've done to it are the 20 inch ATV tires on the back and the old rear tires which are 18 by 8 um, now reside on the front on extended spindles it has a larger or a front bumper as opposed to nothing with a shackle for recovery the runner bar there to uh, basically mash anything down that gets in my way and hopefully help the front wheels get up over it if it's too big the rear has something similar uh, just a very large piece of box steel bumper with a clevis pin. Um, the transmission is actually original. It's a Tecumseh uh, Spicer. I guess it's like a combination, or no, I'm sorry, it's a Tecumseh Peerless. And it's an MST205. And it's a 5 speed. And that thing actually works pretty well. I've put it through some serious abuse and it, it seems to handle it quite well considering I've never heard it really make any noise. Just the typical overdrive sound that you get when you beat the living crap out of them. Uh, battery sits back, pretty well protected up high and dry. The battery wire is well protected by steel pipe that runs down. Definitely gotta have the gas pedal. That thing helps a lot. That's a relatively new thing that I've put on here along with these sidebars which help keep branches off your legs and basically when you trying to squeeze between objects or around trees it'll keep them from smashing you which is always nice all right another cool feature about this tractor is the access to the motor and how to work on it and everything uh, I basically I break this thing quite a bit not really bad but I do I am hard on it and things tend to break and I got to be able to work on it so I kind of got sick of the hood not being able to open all the way plus the fact that this bar basically is right in front of the hood you can't really tilt it forward so this thing's got a hood pin and the hood actually completely removes which I will show you right now works pretty slick it's easy to get back on easy to take off this is the engine. It's a 28 cubic inch Briggs & Stratton flathead. Um, not a whole lot done to it. I did rebuild it um, geez, at the beginning of this summer, less than a year ago. Um, it's got an industrial commercial block, which is a cast iron sleeve. I ported the head before I put that back on um, and ported the eyebrows on the actual engine side where the flathead would sit. The connecting rod is from an OHV motor, which is said to be a little bit stronger. Same with the pist piston, is also OHV, so it can stand up to a little bit higher revs. Uh, everything else is pretty much stock, as is the carburetor and basically everything that goes with that. The exhaust is stock, cam inside is stock. Uh, just the gas pedal, really, and the separate choke, which it didn't used to have. I had to add that because it's basically full throttle and choke or nothing. Didn't like that, so that's what I did with the motor. The ignition system has all been redone. Everything electrical has been changed. Uh, there's a toggle on-off switch for the coil and a push-button ignition to basically start it up and um, shut the, turn the switch to shut it off. Uh, works very well. All the wires I kept up high with the solenoid to keep out of the water. Everything's waterproofed which I've never had a problem ever since I've changed it. Had plenty of problems with the original system, so it had to go. Alright, so here it is up on its side. Just going to take a peek underneath here and just kind of show you what I've got going on here. There's the uh, Tecumseh Peerless 5-speed transmission that is locked. That was one of the first things I had to do to this. Um, almost a necessity anytime you take one of these off-road is to lock the rear differential. You do lose a little bit of your steering that wants to kind of stay in a straight line but it makes more than makes up for it in the places you can go. Um, there's the clutch right there, clutch pulley. Let's see if I can work that without dropping this thing on myself. You can see it just, just a single pulley that pulls and compresses. There's one idler pulley right there to hold it further away to 
the side of the motor so it doesn't touch. And this pulley here is actually adjustable so as the belt stretches or as I buy a new belt I can adjust it in and out. It's adjusted all the way in right now because it's a brand new belt. Um, the front pulley, the engine pulley, is a 5 inch, um, kind of a modified version of what was on there from the factory. I don't really like to spend much money so I make what I have work. And the back pulley is also a 5 inch, as you can see, sort of. Um, I've never had any problem with this combination, it works really well. I got a good low gear and, and an idle, and a very good uh, fifth gear. I can probably do 20 miles an hour if I want to, at full throttle. Um, there's the steering, very simple design, still from the factory. Um, just a one wheel with a giant gear, and it has actually two tie rods, the one that runs to each wheel, which is great, as opposed to the single tie rod system that is on most of these hunks of crap. But it all works very well, I'm quite surprised. One of the last few things I would probably give for advice to anyone who wants to build one of these, or is basically currently building one of these, is uh, your air pressure in your tires should probably be around 8 PSI. I run both of the front and the rear at around 8 PSI. You can see that's pretty squishy there. That'll help you get over some of those um, logs and stuff. Instead of basically the tire just hitting it and bouncing off like a basketball, it'll kind of smash into it more or less and conform to the shape of the log and pull you up over. This is probably about as clean as you'll ever see this thing. It's I don't usually wash it because what's the point? It's meant to be beat on. But um, yeah, this thing's great. Uh, I think it's better than a four-wheeler because basically parts are cheap. Um, as I bought an engine block for $10, you couldn't do that with an ATV. And I can beat this thing all day on pretty much about a gallon of gas. I've gone on round trips with my buddy, I don't know, four or five miles on these things, no problem, and not thought twice about it. And it just goes and goes and goes. I've had this thing for two years in the snow, in the mud, everything, and it loves it. The clutch locks down with this little key here. There's no safety switches on anything anymore. I took all that off. Uh, flip it on. And a little gas. Well, actually, I probably have to choke it. It's a little cold. Dog just wants to play frisbee. That's that.